Hello, and thanks for joining the Frosty Sith channel today, where we're on the eighth installment of the Keto Trail playlist series, where we explain to you ultralight backpacking recipes that are as good cold soaked as they are hot. So stay tuned, and we're going to be laying out the Keto Fa recipe, spelled P-H-O, and demonstrating to you the cold soak method and what the final product looks like and then we'll dive into some nutritional information if you haven't subscribed yet uh, at the end of the video take a minute hit the subscribe button if you like it give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down and leave a comment either way we love to get those so let's dive in There are a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need a food scale to be able to measure weights in grams. You're also going to need a half tablespoon and at least a half teaspoon. Uh, you can also use a quarter teaspoon or with some of the spices if you're comfortable measuring uh, with you know, half of the half teaspoon then that works great. So I have already measured out the ingredients to save time this afternoon. And so we're gonna jump right into the 15 ingredients required to make this dish. And so here we have, I think seven of them. So we've got dehydrated portobello mushrooms, that's about three grams dried. We've got three to four grams of dried shredded cabbage. We've got another three to four grams of dried bean sprouts. I threw a couple of slivers of red onion in just for color. We've got one ounce or 28 grams of chorizo sausage and we've got 28 grams of the Mountain House freeze-dried beef. Then we've got a tablespoon of freeze-dried chives and a uh, half teaspoon of cilantro. So that's seven of the 15 ingredients. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not counting the few little onions that I added just uh, for color in the recipe. So there's part of it. Then for the salt and spices, we've got ginger is this yellow stuff. And we've got the sodium is coming from the bouillon cube that you see here. This is beef flavored bouillon. And then the white stuff that you see there is sodium chloride, uh, no salt brand. And then the fats in the recipe come from these items. So the white is two scoops or 20 grams of MCT oil powder. The, you know, fine looking lighter colored yellow right here is butter powder and the darker yellow right here is coconut oil powder and so that's going to make up one scoop and so one scoop of this one scoop of this two scoops of the mct powder um, make up all the fats that are going into this recipe there are a couple of products in particular that I want to talk about and one of them is this particular brand of chorizo. This is just a dried meat product and it's imported from Spain. I get it from Amazon. I'll try and put a link uh, in the description below. And so that's the chopped up chorizo that you see over here. One ounce. And then the other new thing that we're going to talk about is the Miracle Noodle brand canteen pasta. Hopefully that's how you pronounce that. This is a new product. Originally this recipe was designed uh, to use the shirataki 
dry shirataki noodles, which uh, are basically 100% fiber. And so we're gonna open this now. This is half an ounce, and uh, or it says half an ounce, 16 grams. And we're gonna use somewhere between a quarter and a third of this, so roughly four grams of this. And it says to, uh, you know, once I open this, uh, we need to, <clears throat> to protect it from moisture. And because we're not gonna use it all, I've got a Ziploc over here for that. And then on the inside, there's two separate packages of these noodles. And we could use a whole one. And my concern is that because our shaker container volume is limited, that we're just gonna overrun it with, with all of this other volume that we have. So we're gonna go with half of this, which should be four grams. So this is eight grams per serving. There's two servings in the bag, so half this should be four grams. And that we're gonna open and uh, at the last minute split it in half and put it in here. And so um, let's do that. And this product has no carbohydrates. It's got some fiber, but it doesn't have any net carbohydrates in it. So there's the noodles. And now we're just gonna put in the different particulates. And of course, if you've got an MSR kettle or something that you're wanting to do it in and actually heat it, that'd be fine too, give you some more room. And I think if you were pouring this out of your vacuum sealed bag, that wouldn't quite be as big a problem as trying to use a bowl. So now we've got one and a half cups, and not that we'll use all one and a half cups, but there's one and a half cups of water here that is room temperature, um, and we're just gonna add it. And this is a soup, and so we're not worried about it being watery. Ultimately, we should be able to get just about the full cup and a half in there. Yep. All right, so it's got a cup and a half in it. We want to shake it well, real well, and because we're not cooking it on a stove, we may need to add more water as the water is hydrated into uh, the food product. So we're gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes and come back and shake it real good uh, because we didn't crush up the bouillon cube either and we wanna make sure that gets entirely dissolved and there's plenty of water in it. So we'll come back in 30 minutes and see how it's going. Okay, the 30 minutes is up and I've got another half a cup of water here. We'll probably be able to get a bunch of that in here. Yeah, the noodles are coming together real good. The beef looks real good. Gonna give that a good shake. 
We'll top it off with uh, some extra water, let it sit for another 15 to 30 minutes, and then we'll put it in a, oops, we'll put it in a, uh, a bowl and show you what it looks like. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes total, and we're gonna take a look at it. Looks like we soaked up another little bit of liquid. And uh, right now we've got about one and three quarter cups of total liquid that's been added here and it's pretty full. So we're gonna go ahead and use our recyclable palm leaf bowls that I've been using now for a few months. I'll do a review on these sometimes probably. And we're gonna take that and That is a full bowl. Keto Fa. The noodles. Yummy. I like it. My bowl just barely holds it. Delish. You have to give this a try. All right, on to nutritional information. We're over here at chronometer.com and we're on the foods tab. If you don't already have an account on chronometer.com, you would need to get one. And then once you do that, you can set up custom recipes just like the ones that uh, we've been going over on the Keto Trail playlist series. And so today we're looking at the nutritional information for the seventh installment. Uh, of the keto trail which is the keto fo or fa and uh, let's take a look we're set on the american 2016 nutritional label and if we look at the macros here we're going to find out that this recipe that we just reviewed has about 570 total calories of that about 44 grams is coming from fat and about 35 grams is coming from carbohydrate and less than seven net grams of net carbohydrate. So take the total carbohydrate minus the fiber, which your body can't use as energy or metabolism. And uh, that leaves you with your net carb load for the recipe. And so we punch up the calculator here we'll be able to convert those grams into calories and see what the composition uh, on a percent of calorie basis uh, we have in this recipe. And so let's start with fat. So we have 43.7 grams of fat times nine calories per gram of fat is 393 grams, of, or not, not grams, calories from the fat grams that are in the recipe. And then if we divide that by the almost 570 total calories, we come up with 69% of the calories in this recipe are coming from fat, which of course is uh, excellent for a main keto meal. It gives you a lot of flexibility to add other carbohydrates uh, depending on where you're at and what kind of keto you're trying to do. So let's take a look at the protein. So we've got 35.4 grams of protein multiplied by four calories per gram of proteins, 142 calories coming from protein divided by the 570 calories gives us about 25% of the calories are coming from protein. So 70 plus 25 is 95% of the calories are coming from uh, protein and fat. And just to double check the net carbohydrates, we have total carb load of 17.2 grams minus 
the 10.3 in dietary fiber leaves us with about 6.9 net carbohydrates. And if we multiply that by four calories per gram, we get 28 calories from carbohydrate. Divide that by the 570 calories total and you get right there at that 5% number that we just backed into. So that's the split. So this gives you lots of other flexibility to add carbohydrates uh, to this meal if you want to. And so depending on what kind of exertion and uh, other factors that are unique to you personally, uh, you may want to do that. You may want to either add carbohydrates directly into this or you may want to have uh, separate side dishes or other meals uh, to accompany this later on. So the other thing I like to look at is what are the electrolytes and the two biggest electrolytes to focus on of course are sodium and potassium and so we're looking at about 2.3 grams of sodium and uh, about 1.9 grams almost of potassium and this is coming predominantly uh, the largest load here on the potassium side is coming from the potassium chloride um, from the no salt brand that we added into the recipe. There is some potassium in the other vegetables, but predominantly that's coming from the no salt and the sodium here is predominantly coming from the beef bullion that we added into the recipe. So here are the ingredients. And again, that includes the uh, water. I've got one and a half cups here, but of course, when we actually hydrated it, we got a solid one and three quarter cups of water. And you really just want to uh, add water to this dish, uh, as much water as it'll take and, and hydrate. Uh, let's take a look at the other minerals, just out of curiosity. A little bit of calcium, a little bit of copper, iron, magnesium. Magnesium, that's not a lot of magnesium. Um, so that's it. I love Chronometer. It's a very useful tool and this is a free service uh, provided by Chronometer.com. So check that out. Thanks for tuning in to the Frosty Sith channel today. If you haven't yet, then in a minute when the video is over, take a moment and subscribe to the channel and make sure to enable notifications by clicking the bell so that the bell is solid. That way you will get notifications when you log into YouTube every time that we update content here on the channel. Uh, we'd love to see your comments and of course likes are always welcome so uh, you know what to do. And again, thanks for your time and we will see you next week.